this problem about the Palestinians and the territories and the settlers, this is going on and on and on, and Wischnitzer was right in the middle of this. Yes, uh, raised in a kibbutz, and if you know something about Israel and its traditions, uh, you know that uh, if you were born and raised on a kibbutz and you're a young man, you're supposed to not just go to the army, which is universal in, in Israel, uh, you're supposed to go to the top unit. You're supposed to really uh, serve your country and, and, and excel. And uh, Avner does this. He gets into um, Sayeret Matkal, which is known simply as the unit in Israel. Uh, it's like a combination of our SEALs and uh, correct Delta Force and you know, you name it. Yes, it's very select. Uh, he serves there for three and a half years, six months longer than he's required to. Very patriotic guy, very idealistic. Um, after he leaves, um, he's still on reserve duty, he still goes to his unit on occasion. Um, but he uh, is invited by his sister to see a film, uh, to see a lecture. And he goes to the lecture and he sees some slides uh, that show some Palestinians in a part of the West Bank who are being harassed by settlers, by Jewish settlers. And Avner's not sure what to make of this because he, it doesn't, he, it's not something he immediately uh, thinks, well, oh, that's terrible. He, he's just bothered by it. He decides to go there. Um, and, and for the first time in his life, he uh, talks to Palestinians who he realizes are just as afraid of him and afraid of Israelis as some of the Israelis he knows are afraid of, of Palestinians. Um, and this visit begins a, an awakening in him in which he gradually loses uh, the conviction that what the army is doing in the West Bank is protecting Israel. He comes to believe that actually what the army is doing it is both a moral stain on the army, an army he believes is a moral army, um, and uh, in the long term uh, guarantees uh, conflict and war between the two sides. Um, so he decides he, he wants to continue serving in the army, but he will not serve in the occupied territories, uh, and he ends up signing a letter to our, then Prime Minister Ariel Sharon saying, uh, I will not serve in the territories. Um, and he goes from being uh, this hero to being what's called uh, a refusenik uh, in Israel and, and, and really feeling ostracized. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.